Gestalt psychology is the creation of uh, three German scientists earlier in the 20th century, um, but, uh, Wertheimer, Kafka, and most famous of all, Wolfgang Kurler. Now, Kurler is a figure of uh, great interest. Now, what does Kurler do? Well, Kurler has Sultan in a cage, and Sultan is rather hungry we have reason to believe. And there are bananas hanging down from the center of the cage, from the center of this large cage, and they're much too high for Sultan to be able to jump up and grab them. But Curler has also put an orange crate over in the corner of the cage. And so if you take a look, and this actually was put on film by Curler, if you take a look at what Sultan is doing, Sultan is sort of looking up at these bananas, and uh, looking up, and then looking down, and uh, there's a discernible frown on Sultan's face, and uh, Sultan sort of rocks a bit, and uh, looks around, and does what, what is quite definitely a double take, as Sultan spots this, spots this um, orange crate in the corner. Whereupon Sultan goes over, brings the crate back to the center of the cage, steps up on it, and grabs the bananas. Applause for Sultan. Quite well done indeed. Now here's another experiment. Sultan's back in that cage, still hungry, and now the bananas are outside the cage, and Curler flips a stick into the cage. Sultan picks up the stick, and without more, goes over, puts the stick through the bars of the cage, and pulls the bananas in. Well, my goodness, that's no, that, that, that's not a doctoral level achievement. But now what Curler does is he moves the bananas twice as far away and he throws a second stick into the cage. Now, Sultan is holding both sticks and, and Sultan is quite visibly frustrated by this. Abortively, he puts one stick back through the cage and seems to recognize this, this is a non-starter. The bananas are simply too far away. And he sort of leans back a bit on his haunches. And um, apes have a way of signaling their, their displeasure, and, and Sultan is not pleased. And then he looks at the two sticks, and he sort of looks out a bit, and he looks at the two sticks again. And then at a key point, he joins the two sticks, he now has a single stick twice as long, reaches through the bars, gets the bananas, and pulls them in. What you have here, says Curler, is the sudden solution to a problem without any overt trial and error. Now, Curler referred to this kind of problem solving as insight, insightful learning. And by insightful learning, he means and, and says the form of learning that's based on a kind of vicarious trial and error.